Hi guys, it's me, and today we'll be talking about Kate Stoltz from Breaking Amish or Return to Amish because I keep getting this question from you guys. Anytime I publish anything that has to do with Breaking Amish, you guys ask me, where is Kate? What's Kate up to? Well, I'm gonna tell you today. So Kate Stoltz was one of the breakout stars of Breaking Amish in the first season that I think aired in like 2012, she ran away from Amish country to experience New York with Abe, Rebecca, Jeremiah, and Sabrina. This was a great season and beyond all odds, Kate went from being an Amish girl to getting a modeling contract with major model management NYC. And later, she even went on to study at the Fashion Institute in New York City and interned with Cynthia Rowley. So Kate, just off the bat, was always just beautiful and like an overachiever. Kate's path to success always seemed pretty imminent to me, more so maybe than her other castmates, but that's just my opinion. She was very focused. Kate appeared on a few seasons of Return to Amish after Breaking Amish, but ultimately she quit the show and tried to make it on her own as a fashion designer. And by the way, that's not an easy business to be in. So where is Kate Stoltz now? Kate Stoltz heads her own fashion company called Kate Stoltz NYC. She's also the CEO of a charity called Developing Faces, which improves the quality of life of children with facial abnormalities, which is, I mean, she's such an overachiever. Her fashion company, Kate Stoltz NYC, sells all sorts of fabulous stuff, including dresses, accessories, scarves, masks, women's wear, and even headbands. Most of Kate's Instagram account is dedicated to showing off her beautiful dresses and pieces, and she's a model too, so it always looks great on her, I mean. On her website, it says that every piece is made to order in her studio to minimize the impact on the earth, because apparently Kate is like a philanthropist of some kind. According to the website Wealthy Genius, Kate's net worth may be like around 500,000, which I mean, that's way more than mine. So <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, she's successful. And it, Kate seems to have become, you know, quite the philanthropist too. As the CEO of Developing Faces, She's part of a charity that helps children, and it seems that Developing Faces has traveled many times to Guatemala to provide um, high-quality surgical care to kids with cleft lips and other abnormalities to their faces. Do you guys think Kate will ever appear again on Return to Amish? Because I do kind of miss her, but in a way, she didn't really fit into the group all that well just because she really had this big vision for herself while the other ones were like looking for to get their GED type of situation. So, but I don't think we should we should hold our breath on that one. I don't expect her to come back, but I'm very happy for all her success and I wish Kate all the best. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like my content, please give me a follow and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with more Return to Amish news and updates very soon. Bye!